Tasmanians are starting to make up their minds. I'm voting yes. I'm also voting yes. Why did you vote no? Because I think uh, one group shouldn't have more power than another group in the community. I was going to vote no, I am going to vote yes. But this group of lawyers is frustrated by the legal debate, saying messages like this. Australians aren't silly. They're not going to take a huge risk with our constitution. Are muddying the waters. From a constitutional point of view, no. Uh, the risk, if there is any, will come when the legislation is made by the parliament. What do we want? Treaty! When do we want it? Now! Tim McCormack helped design a pathway to treaty in Tasmania. An Aboriginal advisory group is guiding the process. I think we're probably a fair way away from achieving a treaty because of uh, disagreements about the both the timing of that as well as the um, what actually might be the content of it. We're trying to catch up a lot of ground and we're hopeful that we'll be able to organise treaty uh, at least to the point of um, consulting with the government or advising the government within the next 12 to 24 months. Palawa man Rodney Gibbons set up a breakaway body, arguing Aboriginal people hadn't been properly represented in the original group. The community wanted an elected body that would represent the Palawa community in the fullest sense. And that's what my group try to do in every respect. He put an alternative vision for treaty to government a year ago, but hasn't heard back. Hey, we're not going to prejudge the timing nor the outcome of this process, but we are going to support uh, Aboriginal people uh, on this journey. The Tasmanian Aboriginal Centre is advocating for a no vote, arguing treaty should be the focus instead. And while messages like that seem to be resonating around the country, polling shows Tasmania might be the only state to give the voice a yes. Adam Langenberg, ABC News.